Morning dear students, today we will be learning about the effects of volcanic eruption. Okay, we already learned what are the causes, how it happens, some composites of volcano. So today this video we will be learning about the effects of volcanic eruption. So effects may be of two types. So first one is constrictive effects. This are the advantages after the volcanic eruption. Second is destructive effects that are the disadvantages of volcanic eruption. Okay, can, can we just go through one by one? Okay, first one is we are getting precious stones are formed, especially granite. Suppose one example is granite is considered. The granite comes after the metamorph metamorphism of volcanic uh, eruption, magma is solidifies inside or uh, outside, it is metamorphized and granite is formed. So, just like precious stones as well as precious uh, rocks and uh, metals we are getting after the volcanic eruption. So, next one is geysers and springs. So, geysers and springs, I told you, after the volcanic eruption, the forms, exclusive formation, exclusive features are the, just like geysers and uh, means like springs, sorry, hot springs. Okay, these are formed and these are best uh, tourist attraction. As far as uh, Himalayan Pradesh is concerned, I will give you one example. One place is the Manikara. You may, uh, many of you have already visited there maybe. So there is one hot spring is there and uh, tourists uh, go there and uh, they are even bathing in that uh, hot spring areas. So these are some tourist attractions. Okay, so a Kratos Lake and Calder Lake. These are two lakes formed after repeated eruption or repeated uh, volcanic eruption. Uh, I told you uh, uh, means uh, went through the cone, there may be some areas, uh, craters and if it is repeated eruption is the, then calders are formed and what happens uh, day after uh, day, uh, year after year, lot of water um, comes there and they are stagnant, water will be there, this water resources may form two lakes just like Calder Lake as well as Calder Lakes. So these are water resources for our future purpose which is better for human beings. Okay. And they are the storehouse of minerals. So after the volcanic eruption has happened, lot of minerals as well as lot of metals are found in those areas and this can be extracted later, minus mines can be done and this can be used for later purpose. So this is also an advantage for volcanic eruption. So let's see now what is destructive effects of volcano. Okay, destructive effects means after the volcano there will be a lot of lands, farms, buildings, everything will be destroyed after the volcanic eruption. How it happens? So the lava, the thick uh, lava, as well as um, dense uh, viscous lava, the light vis viscous lava are flowing from far away places. And wherever it flows, what happens? This land, building, even life of the people um, means being, in, they are going inside the lava. Okay, so this is very dangerous and a lot of destruction uh, happens in this time. And next is tsunami. It is called tsunami, it is silent and some seismic waves uh, happens after the volcanic eruption. Seismic waves happens uh, in uh, seas and oceans. What happens after those tsunami? You may know that in 2004, the world, a big tsunami um, affected even Indonesia, even southern part of India, just like Kerala, uh, Tamil Nadu. In 2004, a big tsunami had happened and a lot of lives have been lost. We have lost a lot of lives. So, the tsunami also may happen after the volcanic eruption. Next is global warming. You know that a lot of uh, heat and a lot of um, fire is produced after a volcanic eruption. What happens later? It causes a huge level of, increase in huge uh, level of um, temperature all over the world and it affects as it increases global warming. So next global warming we discuss, this is also not good. Just uh, skip to one point, acid rain. 
acid rain after the uh, volcanic eruption there will be a lot of gases being burst out of the uh, of, of that area and it may cause acid rain so just like gases uh, emitted from the volcanic eruption causes acid rain next is global warming we told you the extinction of animals just like uh, the dinosaurs are concerned maybe it's, uh, some landslides or maybe some volcanic eruption a lot of uh, animals extincted extincted means they are not at all now we cannot see that type of animals right now because they have already extincted this may be a cause for extinction of animals so these are the destructive effects of volcano and these are the constructive effects of volcano i think you like this video okay from uh, next time we'll come with next video thank you and have a nice day